Welcome to Malita's Delicacies. Friends, today I have a very traditional Govan recipe for you and that is the Chana Dal Dos. Traditionally made during Christmas time but you can make it any time of the year with this perfect recipe. And friends, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed already then please do subscribe now and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to like and share with your family and friends too. So let's get started. Here I have one cup of chana dal which I've soaked for about six hours. You can soak it for eight hours or overnight as you prefer. But six hours the dal gets well soaked. Wash the dal and add it to your pressure cooker. Add enough water so as the dal gets immersed in the water. And pressure cook it up to two whistle. Add salt to taste. Until then, let's prepare our coconut. And here I have the freshly grated coconut which gives the perfect taste to your dosa. Now I'm going to grind it without adding water. But if you find it difficult to grind it without water, then you may add the water. But it will increase the cooking time. Here I have ground my coconut. You don't grind it very fine. Keep it slightly coarse. You can see the texture here. Now transfer it into the wok in which you are going to make your dose. Add double the amount of sugar. Traditionally, dose was made during Christmas time or during wedding. This is a perfect recipe of the dose to be made during the wedding time as well. But usually, you know, used to be made in a traditional vessel called the sotel. But since I'm making it on the gas and in a small quantity. Now, once your dal is well cooked, release the pressure. And I'm not going to grind it in the mixer or anything. I just take a potato masher and mash this. This does the job perfectly. And now mix all these ingredients together well. This is a very important step that you mix all the three ingredients together well. So that they get well combined before you... Keep the wok on your gas. Once it is well mixed, keep it on your gas stove on medium flame. Keep stirring continuously. The sugar has started to melt. You can see the consistency becoming thinner. Dose is very tedious to make as you need continuous, rigorous, continuous stirring and it speeds also a lot. The more water you will use, the more it will speed. It takes about 45 to 60 minutes depending upon your quantity for the dose to get ready. But for that time, you need to be patient and continuously stirring it, scraping the sides often. Once the dough starts thickening up, add cardamom powder and continue to stir till your dough comes to a ball kind of a consistency. Friends, do, do watch my Cucumber dose and the bottle gourd dose as well. They also turn out very delicious. Any type of dose usually needs a lot of muscle power. And you need a lot of patience too with the dose. Now to this I am adding here 1 tablespoon of ghee. Although this is totally optional. But it does make your dose little soft. Continue stirring it. Do a test if your dosh is ready. Just pat on your hot dose. If it is 
sticks to your fingers then the dosh is not ready if it if it doesn't stick and it forms when it comes to this ball kind of a consistency just tap on the dosh and see if it doesn't stick then the dosh is ready this is a trick that my mother have shown me and it works to me every time i make a dosh and here my dosh is ready quick quickly transfer it on a greased surface or in a gre greased tray like the way i am doing it this has to be done quickly when the dosh is really hot spread it evenly you may if it sticks to your spatula uh, you may grease your spatula with some butter or ghee traditionally they used to use the jackfruit leaves greased with the ghee and that would do the job once it is well spread leveled then you can you may use to design this with a fork but this is totally optional i will wait till it cools down to cut so that i get clean edges while cutting if you cut when it is hot i feel like you know sometimes the choice is yours my dosh is completely cooled down now my dosh has cooled down now but it might be a little warm inside but still i'll give some cuts to it and i'll cut them into diamond shape you can see the dosh is a little bit soft right now but as it cools down completely it will become more harder now if you want a very soft dosh then you have to remove the dosh at a little earlier stage but if you want it very hard you have to keep it a little longer but this consistency of the dosh is perfect to cut it into shapes or even to put it in your plate and make a dome shape like how they make for the weddings this recipe works good for either of these to try this recipe at your home during this festive season and enjoy with your family and friends we we'll see you next week with yet another interesting and exciting recipe until then keep watching melita's delicacies god bless you do watch my other christmas recipes as well